Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be talking about uh, uh, object-oriented programming and we're going to start working with classes. And this is a, a, a right out of Robert Lagarnier's uh, application cookbook. And if you you can download uh, the file from the website and if, if you have the book it will be good if you follow along. Uh, but just in case you don't have the book and you don't have the program, I'm going to include this in, in, the, in my website. And this is the header file. Let, let me close this so you know. This is, um, I, I have three open, three uh, um, terminals open because I'll be showing you uh, three files more likely at the same time. So I want to, that's why I have three of them open. But let me make this a little bit clearer. So I'm in the Pi right now. And uh, this tutorial might be in. I might split it into s two sections. Uh, the Python. I might do another tutorial because I don't want to make this tutorial too long, and there's a lot to cover. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do. I'm going to show you. There are these four files. There's a header file, the Python file, which uh, we're not going to do in the, in the next tutorial. We are. This is the the uh, class file. This is the color detection. It has the main header file that I just show you, and the CMake list text that we've been using, and of course the image that we will be working with. Okay. First of all, let me show you the header file, and this is right out of his uh, his website. As you can see. It's got the class, it's got private, public. As you can see, it's the class is the class color detector. And here he's initializing, it's nothing new. Uh, here he's doing uh, the color. And y if you have the book, you can go to that chapter, chapter three. He explains it very well and uh, on the get distance uh, city block method and and I don't want to get into it because uh, it's a lot to to cover in, in one tutorial this you can make three tutorials talking about this but uh, you can go into into his uh, his book and, and and see this is the public that's the private the color detector it has the minimum distance for this right here once you have the distance, he has a tolerance value, uh, which is a minimum distance of 100. It is completely uh, arbitrary. You can you can change these numbers. You can ch change this number. You can also change these numbers here. Uh, he's he's going to show us a result uh, as a binary image. So it's just to make it easy uh, on for you to see what's going on. And uh, it, well, nothing here that is not that we haven't done in the last two three tutorials some of them is the same thing so I set the target color and get color distance threshold and now I'm gonna show you be showing you the the uh, class file uh, color detector CPP and this is the uh, the color detector file as you can see, he's including the, the file that I just show you. Bring in the color detector and the process that I just showed you just now. He in, this is uh, in case that the images are not the same size, he's creating this right here, but in one channel, because they have to be the same same size. He's uh, iterating, is an iterator, is going from uh, scanning the whole image. It's going beginning to the end and he has an unsigned car here which is this is the binary image. It will produce the the uh, binary result. Okay and it's gonna it's, it's a for loop be from 0 to 255 from black to white. Okay and it's gonna scan the whole image and uh, with these things right here this loop. Okay so this is the the color detector uh, showing you here the 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 color detector and executing and now let me show you the the main file and this is the one that I tweaked a little bit uh, CPP 
And as you can see, this is the main. We've been working mostly with this. We have not worked with uh, with header files. This is the first time that we're using it, but now uh, gives us an example to talk, to deal a little bit with object oriented programming. He's calling the color detector class here and an instance of that class, and he's decoding the image. Nothing new here. Making sure that th that there is an image. Setting the input parameters. This is the ins the um, the instance of the class that he just created, and an input parameter. I I changed that. Uh, I I started with with a different one. Uh, I will I will show you, and then uh, I ch I added an additional uh, windows that he didn't have there before, and here is just showing the result and the C detect instance of the color detector class and it's processing the image. Okay? The image is this image right there. Is this image right there. Okay? And it's showing it into the window, the original and the image that, that it first decoded. Okay? So let's see it. Uh, but the most important thing also is, is here. You, we gotta make a change on the CMake because now we have to include uh, more than before. Okay, if you don't do this, you will it will throw an error. So make sure you change it the the CMake list. And there are many ways to do this, but this is the simplest way. So I'm gonna go with the simplest way because it's easier for people to follow. So is this is the same that we've been doing color detection, the project name, same thing that we've been doing, that is the same OpenCV package, but here is this line that is the, that is different. You have to include the name of the executable, but you ha also have to include the uh, color detection, that's the, the main file, okay, and you have to include the color detector header file and the one that is uh, with the class. Okay, if you if you leave these guys out, it's gonna throw an error in the compilation process. So you gotta make sure that you include them. And of course, these guys have to be the same like we have been doing before, and just to link the libraries. Okay, so very important that you change that. And now let's compile. And while this is compiling, I want to open here the uh, make and CV tutorial seventeen a and CV tutorial and it's linking. As you can see, it's almost done, and it built it, okay? And before, let me show you C here, C++, and let's make, uh, we made it, and let's now execute. Color detection can type, and it's going to do as you can see here. It's going to show the original image, and it's going to identify the input uh, color that I uh, that I that I the input in, that I put into the into the main file here. Is doing this right here, which is 249, 249, and 8, and which is uh, yellow. And as you can see, it's taking this one, the yellow right here, yellow, yellow, and yellow, and these are the ones, yellow, 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 and yellow. Okay? But as I, as I can, 
as I told you, you can change it. Now let's um, let's do blue. Uh, we can do green or we can do blue. Uh, let me close these. And, and there's this uh, website. I mean, you can do this also from the terminal, but this is faster to get uh, the RGB values. So let's get uh, blue. Like uh, more or less this one. Okay, so yeah, it's about this one. Okay, so it's 23, 23, and 242. And it also gives you the edges, uh, hue, saturation values, HSV values. Okay, we'll be doing that in, when we do the Python. But uh, what was it again? It was. Uh, 23, 23, and 242. 23, 23, and 242. So let's change it now. 23. And here you can change the, co the color that you want to work with, especially when you're doing um, object tracking. Uh, what was the 242? 242. Stoop 42. Okay, save it. Yes, and then recompile again. And we're doing it. And now it should, instead of uh, picking the the yellow, it should pick the the blue uh, colored ships. Okay, it's linking. And ls color detection and the original, and as you can see, they're different, different uh, chips. And as you can see here, uh, this is the blue, blue. That one is that one right there. This one is that one right there, and that one is this one right there. Okay, and you can change uh, each each um, to any color that you want. It's, it could, this uh, is a very handy uh, method, and that they can, that can be very handy in the projects that you're working with. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to do it in Python. And uh, but like always, if you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.